last video, in part one of our Andalusian travels, we climbed up El Torcal and learnt about the geology of the rocks. We went to Ronda and walked across the ancient New Bridge and then even visited a bull ring. So what do we have in store in this vlog, part two of our Andalusian travels? We're heading to Cordoba. Cordoba is supposed to be another musty town in Andalusia. It's got an amazing mosque cathedral, they call it. There's also botanical gardens and a zoo. So we'll see how much time we get. So onward we go. You and me, we're family. The bond that we share is as deep as the sea. No matter how rough things may come to be. You and me, we're family. Sing home. Hey, long for the ride home. Oh, hey, I'll stay by your side home. Oh, hey, you'll always be alright by me. Yes, alright by me. Right, so this is Cordoba, and then this is the famous Roman bridge that we're going to go across. It reminds me of Prague a bit, where my grandma was from. Um, it's just got that kind of feel about it, and the old city on the other side. Let's go and see. We went to the Mosque Cathedral of Cordoba. Locally, it is known as the Metzquita Cathedral. So when the Visigoths were ruling, they built the Basilica of St. Vincent here on this site. And then when the Muslims conquered Spain in 711, the church was divided into Muslim and Christian halves. So as the Muslim population increased, the ruler, Abdur Rahman I, acquired the whole site and then demolished the basilica to make way for the first al Hama, which is the main mosque in the city. There are over 856 columns made of jasper, onyx, granite and marble and these were taken from the old Roman temple that was here before. The horseshoe arch is one of the most famous bits and it's used to identify the wall that faces Mecca. This horseshoe arch was common in the architecture of the Visigoths as well. So some of the original building materials from the Visigothic Basilica can still be seen. So I think the most interesting thing about this place is that it's a temple, a church, a mosque, a cathedral, and it's all here. All these different divinities have been worshipped over thousands of years. It's a brilliant history lesson. So with the extensions in the 9th and 10th centuries, the size of the mosque cathedral was doubled and it became one of the largest sacred buildings in the Islamic world. It stretches across 24,000 square meters. Abdur Rahman even imported fruit trees and other plants from his former home. So in the courtyard, you can still see the orange trees. So after the history lesson, it was time to take the kids to do something a bit more fun for them. We went to Cordoba Zoo. We are in a zoo. Really, it has I literally to, every animal in the <laughs> Elephants, flamingos, we've already seen flamingos in the wild. Uh, lions, hippopotamus, yeah. and eaters, where's the ant eaters? And turtles, yeah. there's everything. Okay. Are you excited, Rowan? Yeah, I want to see a hippo. Because they're going. Are you excited, Woody? It's not Woody's really cup of tea, but um. I don't like to see animals caged. No, but we've come. In, we've come here for the kids. Okay. Because we're doing a lot of cultural stuff, and we thought they might like this. Okay, so you can just see this beautiful tiger down there. This, this tiger and the, the other one in the, up further along was rescued from a circus. They were in a cage by a busy street for more than 10 years. And so they were brought here for a permanent home in this zoo. Do you think it's a nice home for them, Ewan? Uh, yeah. Loads of water to drink. Yeah, loads of water to drink.
this, this peacock is definitely edging close to that female. I think they're going for the chicken. Oh, look, he's doing his tail. Look, he's doing his tail. Oh, she's chasing the chicken. Though. Spoon billed iris, you reckon? Okay, this is the lemurs. No, oh, it's licking its toe. No, it's licking the other one. It's funny. Adorable. Unpredictable. Yeah. No, freaky, freaky. Well, this is my first time I ever saw an elephant in my life, and it's over there. Yes, but... What's the trunk for then? Okay, so we learned about the difference between the Indian elephant and the African elephant size, didn't we? They're so much bigger. Okay, so these uh, Barbary apes or Barbary macaques, and they're native to Gibraltar and they're the only primates um, in mainland Europe. The baby there is causing all the mischief. So everyone's going after the baby except the mother. Uh, yeah, and before the dad pushed the mum into the water there on the slide. Does it look like a normal family, do you think? It looks like our family. <laughs> Right, so we're fi quite fascinated with these monkeys and they've been arguing and fighting and um, like Darrell just explained, I think the baby's been quite mischievous but the mum's just about had enough and she's gone and got dad and he's come along and you know, there's other ones involved. I just think they, they're all getting really annoyed with each other and um, fighting. <laughs> this is apparently a, a mini pig. Do you reckon it's a mini pig, Ewan? Uh, Does it look like a mini pig to you? Yeah. Does it? That one's not a mini pig. Is that a mini pig? Uh, I think it is. <laughs> oh, look at those pigs, those lovebirds. <laughs> There's a wild boar coming. <laughs> An Andalusian donkey. No, oh, can we stroke it? It's beach day for the tortoises. Beach day in Brighton. Yeah, this is like a big... This is so smooth! Pygmy hippopotamus. Oh, there, it's up there, the one up there can hear you. Oh, oh, oh. It has a running track. How come, how come it's not leaving the They're box? huge, actually, aren't they? Yeah, they're big. Oh, wow, amazing stripes. I don't know what you mean. Boy. The collared peccary yeah. is getting fed by its mummy. Red-necked wallaby. They are found in Australia. Are they endangered, Ewan? No, not really. How do you know that? What? They're of least concern. And then if you go up that, what happens? Yeah, this one here. What does that mean? Is like dinosaurs and stuff. Yeah, because they're extinct. Yeah. What do you think about the zoo then? Well, I loved it because I saw those animals, but I found two things a bit sad. Uh, I found that the elephant was by itself. The elephant was completely by itself and it looked really sad. Uh, and it didn't have that nice of a cage. Uh, and I also found it sad how the deers were right beside the wolf they must kind of live a life of fear. But apart from that, it was really, really good. My favorite one were the monkeys, and Dad used to live in Gibraltar, so he used to see those monkeys a lot. My favorite was the elephant, because that was my first time I saw an elephant. First time I ever saw an elephant in my life. Sometimes I feel like we're in one big field trip and we're learning it all firsthand. Cathedral <laughs> in Cordoba. <laughs> Seriously? You and me, we're
family No matter how far away we've grown to be Okay, so thank you for everybody for watching these videos and thank you for sharing them. Thanks especially to the patrons for um, helping us to get the equipment to create these videos, to edit and then produce them and also to get ice creams for the children to keep them out of the way so we've got time to um, create these video vlogs. Thanks a lot. And if you want to do it, do it. Right.